AAR, the new airplane maintenance company at Chenault, held a hiring fair today, giving people the opportunity to apply for work with the new company. KPLC's Jaron Jordan is in the studio with more. Cynthia, today's hiring fair was one of the first signs that Aeroframe is gone and AAR is here, although there were some mixed reviews. Ooh, hey, next, next. 20 people at a time. Hundreds line the gates of the former Aeroframe facility. It's a place many of these prospective AAR employees called their place of employment just three days ago. Basic, basic need is the employment. Uh, the, other, the other thing is, is, you know, AAR is a good company. They're a nationwide company. I want to be a part of a good company. But the hope of a new life with a great company is overshadowed by the doubt that Aeroframe tied all of their loose ends. Whenever you're promised that, that you're going to be able to come through and, and, and reapply and, and, you know, get your livelihood back on track, they turn around and lie to you again and, and send you away. Tuesday's job fair is one of the first signs of the AAR transition at Chenault. Another is Aeroframe signage painted over or removed altogether from the grounds. We like it to be a little more controlled, but that's okay. We can adapt and we'll make it happen. AAR Vice President of Technical Services Danny Martinez says roughly 200 people will be employed during this first round of hires. And while it may be months before the company has the required local regulations to fully open for business, there is work to be done now. We're going to let them know by the end of the week, uh, and we're going to start bringing people on as quickly as we can, hopefully even Monday or Tuesday. Um, there is some work that needs to be done, and we want to get them uh, get them on that. But with such a high demand shortly before noon today, prospective employees were turned away and told to come back on Wednesday, a frustrating turn of events for former Aeroframe workers. After waiting since 7 o'clock this morning, uh, we didn't get any answers. They, they came outside and cut the line about six people from the door and told uh, probably over 100 people to go, go home and come back tomorrow. They weren't doing it anymore today. Now that former Aeroframe employee says he will be back tomorrow to interview for a position with AAR. And just a reminder, tomorrow is the last day for the hiring fair from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. As for when or if those former Aeroframe employees will be paid, still no answer to that. AAR Vice President Martinez says their company has absolutely nothing to do with it. And our efforts of reaching out to former Aeroframe CEO Roger Porter have been unsuccessful. At your service, Jaron Jordan, KPLC 7 News.